Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Tuesday, which means it is time for another Nas Watches Vinland Saga. Oh, boy. Yeet. Oh, boy. Everybody, Krimpus is happening, which means things are hard. <laughs> things are difficult to get together. Oh, boy. So, uh, so we are... Shit, okay, so last episode is next week, actually. Oh, boy, that's gonna be fun. So, but in the previous episode, um, Thorfinn and Askachad had their big duel. Askeladd came out and said, Oh, yeah, no, I killed my dad, and here's how, and it took me fucking two years, you fucking stupid idiot. You've been going at this for ten, and you ain't even been able to scratch me. And, um, yeah, and uh, I made a dumb dum I made a dumb dum so, uh... Early on, he was like, I mean, I was, I said to Abba Askeladd, Oh boy, I hope he kills his, he killed his dad. Um, when he had just mentioned that he killed his dad. Uh, my brain put step in front of, in, in, in front of father. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I just went, like, wait, he said stepdad, right? No, like, but no, I'm a big dumb idiot. Might be. Honestly, that's kind of the problem with doing these things as they come out. Uh, is that it usually leaves me a little tired, because it's at the end of the day, usually. <laughs> so my B on that. That good good job catching that, boys. Good job. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, so Thorfinn got his ass beat. Uh, went for having himself a little scream. And now uh, we're in the end game now, I'd assume. Because as I mean... Askeladd's off doing off doing his thing to get Canute on the throne, and Thorfinn's just kind of screaming at the oxygen molecules. That's really all there is to it. So let's just get going and see if he's still screaming, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Broom, 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 motherfucker. Oh boy, like. I did, like, the more I see that opening little thing, the more I'm just like, man, that's just, like, the same way they did, they, they did w Wolfenstein. Didn't even bother fucking texturing the, the, the ceiling or the floor. Just put a flat polygon with no texture and just had to put all the effort into the motorcycles. Same with Wolfenstein. All the effort went into, <laughs> all the effort went into the walls, but the roof and the floor are completely untextured. That's like my- that's like the funnest fact I ever learned about Wolfenstein. Uh, Fucking... Not gonna lie, I'm still a little... annoyed that... It's called Vinland Saga, but like, Vinland ain't nowhere to be seen, Chief, you know? That's a little annoying. I don't know, uh, I feel like... I mean, you're obviously, like, you're adapting an, a work, and that, I mean, it's like, oh yeah, no, Vinland is the goal, but... At the same time, it seems... a little silly, you know? Just... Like, we're, we're spending, we're talking about Vinland all the time in the fucking opening, and, 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 the, and the title. Nah, Chief. Nah, Chief, you're gonna hang out in England this whole time. Fuck off. I'm wondering if Thorfinn's just going to abandon this whole thing and just fuck off, and we'll hear about them succeeding later. I mean, probably not, right? But... Oh man, that saved them some animation. Just draw some still frames and scan the fucking thing over it. It's wine, and totally not a midget with a crossbow. Hey man, Grandpa's gotta eat. Grand, like Grand Graham's gonna eat. Come on now. Oh boy. Not gonna lie, if we ever discover time travel, like you and I both know, there's gonna be motherfuckers like taking, taking vacations. Man, just. 
stumbled right the fuck back into town, huh? And dead. Man, man dead now. All right, moving on. No more Thorfinn, huh? Now let's get on to the real characters. The real protagonists. I mean, hopefully this doesn't backfire on, uh, on Ascalad. Like, here's the hope, right? Ooh. But he knows how to chop men in half. So, I mean, hey. I believe down south he's called Kratos, the ghost of Sparta. <laughs> it's kind of funny though, just like, there was, there was just a Viking god of war, and now we have a fucking anime with someone whose name basically describes Kratos. Would be kind of neat if in like a, in, in God of War, if one of the Vikings, like, like there'd been like a Viking character who just didn't know who Kratos was and just called him that as like a nickname. That'd be neat. Like I'm waiting for that traitor to just get his head just gone. I mean, what's Thorfinn gonna do to protect Canute with a broken arm and a broken nose and a broken leg? Like, I mean, what what is he gonna do? Oh man, the syphilis is the syphilis is gonna kill Swain before anything else. Oh man, all this smallpox is. I guess they make up him up. Swain's looking pretty pretty trim for a guy who looked like a corpse a few episodes ago. But I really want Thorfinn to fuck this up. Oh hey, it's the slave lady from the opening! Oh boy! All these slave brides off to go get married. Oh man. Oh no, Askeladd's using his... his Viking astral proje projection. Oh shit, oh fuck. If he stabs his hallucination, it still counts, right? If if you hey Thorfinn, if you stab him, it counts. You thought he was Askeladd. That means it counts for your honor, though. Guys clearly had his ass beat, man. An empathetic human being would go, "Hey, man, you all right?" You're clearly having problems. This seems like a routine thing in Japanese media. Where just people walking down the street are just assholes. I see Thurfin has mastered the art of Slavic squat fighting. <laughs> it can only be done by true Slavs, as a, as, a, as a capitalist spy cannot put their feet flat. 
Your punishment is that you have lost penis privilege. Unless, you know, he looks like he's been beat to fucking half to death, like, Jesus. C can nobody else, like, perceive his injuries? Holy fuck. A kid's clearly got prob- okay, there's the smallpox. Now he's got them back. And soon he'll throw you off, and then he'll conquer most of the known world. So hey, well done. Well done there, my boy. Godza. But I thought... I thought they were all sucking- was like sipping on the Jesus juice. I mean, Canute had that real bit- that giant fucking crucifix in his tent, like, holy shit. This would be the place for the knife to come out, just... Pew. Hey, that's not a bad area. Ma Marcy is a... I mean, it's a pretty... it's a pretty good place. I mean, it could just be because he survived it, he's, you know, cutting him some slack. Ah, Ireland. The place that could have conquered the world, if not for the invention of cheap whiskey. Kai Kakudori! Fucking. The Kai Kaku has been doried, Chief. That's a really weird turn of phrase. Did, did, did a lottery exist at this point in time? Like drawing a, drawing a losing ticket? Oh, no. There's a however. There's a butt. There's a big butt. <laughs> and the messenger was killed. I imagine. Knowing, knowing, knowing uh, the people of uh, the natives of England. Yeah. Man, he'd probably be hype as fuck go back in, t back in time with a fucking minigun. Oh no, not the Welsh! Their wives will be buying lonely in the night. Well, congrats, Ascalad. It's backfired horribly. Your people are gonna fucking die. Even with their Roman bullshit. Why are they Romans? Like dead ass, they got Roman names and everything. No, he dead though. But he dead though. Is it Leaf? Seriously, Thorfine, cut your fucking losses. Cut your fucking losses, goddamn. Go home. Go home, Thorfine. Go home and be a family man, for fuck's sake.
Seriously, he's just gonna keep up with this, huh? But my honor, though! Seriously, Thorfinn, you should be married! You should be- you should be fucking married and maybe even have a kid by now for this time period, for fuck's sake! You're still a f acting like a goddamn toddler, holy shit! God damn it, Leaf. Don't indulge him. Don't indulge him, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I don't think he's smiled once since, uh, since Thor's died. Yeah, boy. Like, like, this story is still fairly interesting, but, like, I mean, we, know, we all know this is going to end with Thor Thorfinn going, Yeah, but my honor, though! But my honor, though! Like, this is... Like, I don't want to say this story is a waste of time, but it kind of is. CG water -y. We carry a knife with which to stab the ocean. Yeah, see, Thorfinn doesn't care. But my honor, though! But my honor, though! So, the correct method to do this is to... Chloroform this motherfucker, load him into a barrel, tie him up, and ship him home. How is he gonna get back to England from Iceland? It's not exactly a bustling trading port. <laughs> Hooray for silver and land. Congratulations, Askelad, you done fucking played yourself! You done fucking played yourself, son. Everyone you know and love is going to die. Congratulations. I mean, he's gonna figure it out if you keep making eye contact with him over whales. Ascalad, I feel like you very much underestimate the pettiness of kings of this era. Like... <laughs> 
Like, fucking, there was a king who declared war over a rival lord, uh, uh, fuck, who was it? Yeah, they were going, they were going hunting, and a rival lord, okay, so, and, and yeah, and the, a rival lord killed a deer that the king had tagged. Oh, boy, he's, he's trying to have a brain, he's trying to have a brain blast, oh, boy. There's no way out. There's no way out, ask lad. You just got to assassinate Swain. It's the only way. Go home, dumbass. Fucking go home. Fuck's sake. <sighs> There's also fucking Native Americans, and they're really not a fan of you. Fucking... Van, Thorfinn, do you want to go to Vinland? Let's go right now. Let's go right the fuck now. Let's make this Vinland saga actually go to fucking Vinland. P yes. 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 Please. Let's end this Vinland saga by going to fucking Vinland. God fucking damn it. God. Place without slaves and war, huh? Oh, this is gonna this is gonna age poorly. Oh man. You just wait about six hundred years there Leaf. Oh boy, that changes real fucking quick. He's gonna tell him to fuck off, isn't he? No? Alright, we- we're alright! Oh, he- Oh, he didn't- Oh, Thor- he never told Thorkel. oh shit! Oh, no. See, best hope no one overheard him say that. The land is poor, but the people are full of pride. You could say that for a lot of the, a lot of the uh, kingdoms that the UK absorbed. Not a lot of stuff going on there. I think Ireland's the exception. Oh boy, what's he gonna get? What What's your boy gonna get? For your actions in battle, Askeladd, son of Olaf, you get a boot to the head. <laughs> oh, jeez. And he's got that fucking toga on. He's really trying to push this Roman shit, huh? Almost as if there's a... 
Almost if you've got luck every other time, huh? <laughs> then you get to the end and it's like, oh no, luck's run out, Ascalad. You've used it all up in the first inning. Oh god. Ascalad's the kind of guy... Ascalad's the kind of guy who just pops all his cooldowns at the start of the fight. And then if the fight goes on too long, he's like, well fuck, I got nothing else. More of a sprinter than a marathon runner, huh? Oh, boy. <laughs> Fucking... Uh. Pa like, pacing of this show is still garbage. You guys, you guys know that's not gonna change, right? Like, but still, I'm interested. It's weird. So it's the same thing with Ancient Mages Bride. Pacing is garbage, but just enough stuff happens that, like, I'm, that I'm interested. I'm afraid, though, that we're gonna hit the- we're gonna hit episode 24, and stuff is either gonna be rushed, or it's gonna be so slow that nothing actually gets resolved. And I don't like that, because I don't think there's a guarantee that this show is going to get a second season. I don't know. If, if, there, if it has been guaranteed, then okay. Neat. But... I don't know. This is kind of niche here, man. I like it, because I'm a giant fucking history nerd. But this, this, this area of history, like, is niche even to me. Because most people that, like, are, are big fans of history, it's one of three things. It, it's the World Wars, it's Romans, it's Greeks... Um, did I say America? Yeah, so it's America, Romans, Greeks, the World Wars, and maybe the Middle East. That's usually, like, the five areas that people who are fans of history focus on. And for me, it's like, those are the five that I know, the, I know the most, because I talk with a lot of people who are big fans of history. Like... <laughs> Not gonna, like, not gonna lie, like, this area of it, like, especially because, like, a lot of what we have historically for this time period, a lot of it, at least from the Viking side, is, uh, tainted by Christian bias trying to paint the Danes and the Norse as evil, you know, like, fucking absolute, like, fucking monsters. Or it's all, like, second-hand sources. There's very few first-hand sources that I'm aware of that most people go, like, oh, yeah, no, that's 100%. Right there. Like, we know, like, the, the much broader, like, uh, brushes and much, much broader strokes, but a lot of the smaller details, like, like, they're all from, ow, they're all from the archaeological record or secondhand accounts. So, like, that's, so that makes this area of history kind of a, a pain in the ass to learn about. Um, fucking, uh, Add in, yeah, like, that. the pacing is really bad, and while the fighting is good, like, sometimes it makes you go, like, hmm, but then again, for people, but, but that's just, I mean, fighting choreography for anime isn't exactly the highest bar to clear, is it? It's really not. It's why I applaud it so much when it is actually good, and why when this show does do it good, like, I'm like, yeah, no, that's good, more of that, please. Then you got Thorfinn doing his fucking big jumps. You know, let's let's go ahead and actually Google it real quick. Let, let's go ahead and just do a quick little Google, shall we? Um, Vinland Saga Season 2. Let's see. Okay, so the manga is actually on its final arc. Neat. Uh, oh, okay, well this explains... This explains why the pacing's so fucking bad. They've been already cleared for an for an annual for annual seasons. Seasons plural. <laughs> Which means we're probably getting at least two, maybe three more seasons until they unless they renew it again. Oh boy. Alright. So that that explains a lot. All right, so yeah, so so that means that this this episode twenty four this could basically end with no conclusion whatsoever, which 
I mean, that'd be good to get people, like, being like, No, I gotta watch season two! But also, for those of us that are gonna have to wait a year, because if this is an annual series, then that means that we're not gonna get another... We're not gonna get another, uh... Season for, like, another year. <sighs> Come on now, that's just... That's just being a dick. That's just being an asshole. So, yeah, that's concerning. But... As for this episode itself... Um, it, it feels like stuff is winding down, like, you know, like, it feels like stuff is winding down and, like, leading towards, like, a, a, a big ending, or at least this, or even if not a big ending, the start of something new that's big, like, the fight in Wales, which does make me concerned that episode 24 is going to be just, like, no, everything comes down, we get, like, nothing happen, and nice and calm, and then the end will be like, Tune into season two when Ascalad when <laughs> when Big Dick Ascalad cucks all of Wales. Fuck you, Oklahoma. You're next. Like, you know, like that. That'd be a little annoying. I'm I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm fucking super worried. Um, visually, there was a lot of like shortcuts here taken, like where they just like panned over a still image of the meat hole and just kind of had like time lapse pictures. I'm not a big fan of that. That's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, it really does feel like they're just kind of limiting what they're doing, because there's a lot of CG being used, like, like, not, like, uh, explicit, just like, oh, man, no, there's CG guys everywhere, but, like, just minor little tweaks and, like, copy-pasting of people here and there, like, that's, yeah, it's understandable, that's fine, right, but, like, there's a lot of still shots, a lot of details being filled in with CG, and a lot of just, like, people talking. I don't know, like, visually, it's not... This episode was not very interesting. I mean, the closest we got was Leaf on the Waves, but it's CG water on a CG boat with a man drawn on top of it. Not really that impressive, to be honest. Um, it's the same water they were fucking using in episode one. Um... Story-wise, I'm at least interested in where this is going. That, like, Sawain is, like, playing nice. You know, he's pretending to, like, be like, Oh, Canute! Oh, man, I'm so glad that the gods brought you back. Ha-ha! Nice to see you again, my boy! But, really, he inside, he's like, mm, This motherfucker, why is he alive? Son of a bitch! You know, and just... And then this, in this whole time, it's just like Askeladd trying to work his way around Sawain, while Sawain and Floki trying to work their way around Askeladd's workarounds. Like, narratively, it's really fucking interesting, and I'm and I'm really down to see like how they're going to fuck Askeladd over. Like, I'm big interested in that. Um, and the whole thing with Leaf and Thorfinn, I know it's not gonna happen. I know that fucking Thorfinn is gonna wind up fucking still staying in England. And we're not, and like, we're not gonna see anything with fucking Iceland, despite the fact that I really wanna see what Ilva's up to, cause by god, does she strike me as the kind to pick up a sword and like, just like, no, go full shield maiden on it, but... We're not gonna get to see that anytime soon, huh? Oh, like, I don't know, man, I just kind of want the story to branch out, I want Thorfinn to go home, have, like, some, some fucking story with his family, maybe go to Vinland and explore, and every now and again cut back to England and just see what fucking Askeladd and fucking Canute are up to. Because, honestly, Thorfinn does not add to the story at all. Like, holy shit. Like, he was missing from the entire main thrust of the narrative for this entire episode, and he impacted nothing. Like, fuck, my dude. Fuck. Uh, but... All in all, like, I think this show is, like, remaining, like, at a steady, like, 7.5 out of 10 for me. Like, this whole way through. Like, narratively, interesting. Visually, boring. Fucking pacing-wise, absolute god-fucking-awful. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> so, but, like, and I, and I say, like, the visuals are boring, but, like... I know they can do better, because there have been episodes where you've got, like, such dynamic shit going on, and you're like, yo, yes, more of this, yes, go, 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 but it, but because they don't do that all the time, or they don't do it often enough, 
Episodes like this where it's 99% just still shots or panning over a fucking animation cell. <laughs> like, there's, you know, like, ah. But, hey, final episode, final episode next, next week. Fucking very excited, very excited for that one. But, uh, yeah, I think that's really all I gotta say. So let me know what you thought of this down there in the comments. Whether you like it, you dislike it, or you wanna bring up something that I omitted. Because that's entirely fucking possible. Oh, mm, boy. And, but yeah, so uh, remember to like, comment, face, subscribe, share on social media. Tell your friends! And hit that share button down below if you want. You can always support me on Patreon, which is linked down there in the description. Along with the link to my Discord, Discord server. And on the end card, which is along with a list of all the good boys and girls... <laughs> that are paying into my into the Patreon and basically helping the channel keep going because all my equipment and all that, all of it bought with patron money and also also it helps me like get groceries to survive. Oh boy. Fucking mm. Oh boy, but yeah. Yeah, you guys are good you guys are good boys and girls. Oh man. Anyway, so um yeah, if you do become a patron, you can get that's just special patrons only Discord channel on my Discord server, where you can recommend things to be let's played, live streamed, and let's watched. And uh, there's like a, you know, there's we got a list of stuff the patrons want to see, and I just kind of go through it and like, right, let's go. And like I think like at any one point, half of the stuff I let's watch is stuff that's chosen by patrons, and most of y'all got good tastes. Most of y'all. <laughs> Um, and also we have our patrons only movie night that we do usually once a month in January We're gonna be doing two because December a fuck um, Where we basically we hang out in our discord uh, voice channel for patrons and we um, Go into our sync tube and we watch some anime play some video games Maybe watch a movie just kind of hang out have a good old grand old time. Oh boy Everybody says yeah. so as always I am Nozovix and I'll see you in the next video, but most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today, and I will see you a round.